Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com. Today we're going to check out new browser for Android uh, and Mamo, but I have it here with uh, Android. We're going to check out Firefox 4 Beta. Mozilla just announced it uh, last night, and I just installed it, and it's available for everybody. Uh, so if you head over to Mozilla.com slash beta, I believe, uh, you can download it. Otherwise, we have a story on our site, and we have the link there. Let's get started, and we'll check out some of the new features of uh, Firefox here for Android. Off the bat here, we have um, it just shows you your all, all of your pages that are uh, that are synced up, and I'll, I'll show you about that in just a second. Um, it's called Desktop Sync. If you install the plugin on your desktop browser, you can then access all of your bookmarks, um, your browsing history, your saved passwords, uh, your autofill stuff. All of that will come down on your phone, so it's pretty cool. So here we have Desktop Bookmarks. You can click that. If I go to Bookmark menu, you can see I have ESPN there. Now that's from my desktop. I don't typically use uh, bookmarks that often, but I just put that there to show you. Uh, history also, that all comes over. And if I click desktop here, it's another application just crashed. If I click desktop here, you can see these are my uh, my windows that are open on my computer right now. So you have uh, the Firefox sync page, my Google Reader, New York Magazine, uh, and my Twitter account, etc. So it's actually pretty cool. So I can then, you know, quickly Click the link there, and it launches uh, the page that I've already had open on my desktop browser. Now, Firefox did say, or Mozilla rather, did say that um, that they've optimized the the search here, or the web page loading, so that uh, panning around and zooming uh, should be pretty efficient. So here you can see it's panning quickly, zooming there on the side. I don't know how I brought that up. Oh, it looks like if you just swipe to the side like so, you get the open uh, windows. That's pretty neat. Looks like we can add a new window. Go to So it does have some holdups here. Oh, whoops, that was my own fault. All right. Bring up CNN here. Loaded pretty quickly. Now let's see, if I hit the menu button, looks like we can have uh, encryption options, find in page, share later, or uh, share page, read later. That's a plugin I installed, I saw it earlier, so I guess if we just save it to my library, we'll be able to read it offline, say if you're going into a subway or something. <clears throat> Try to get this to close though. So it looks like when you save uh, for later, it just closes out Firefox. <clears throat> so we'll bring it back up. So I also wanted to show you this. Here, um, typically if my computer was connected, and I believe it takes a couple seconds, you can view the tabs also. And there it goes. You can view the tabs there instead of hitting the uh, menu button as I did earlier. But here are the add-ons. That's where I got the um, earlier uh, save for later post. And here we have Twitter bar. So let's install that and we'll see what this does. So now it's downloading Twitter bar here. If I uh, whoop, add to Firefox. Okay, that requires a restart, so we won't do that now. <clears throat> but basically, that'll allow you to post to your Twitter account from just uh, your URL. So you can sort of type up, uh, type in your update, and post directly to Twitter from there. You can also see the options uh, here for search. There's Google, uh, Amazon, Twitter, and Wikipedia. So if we were to go to the search bar, and I believe if I hit menu now, it gives us the option to search with uh, Twitter, Wikipedia, Amazon, or Google, as I just said. 
Now back here, let's see what these other buttons did at the, uh, look like. The bottom of the page here. So these are some options. You can change your start page, show images on page, enable JavaScript uh, as a default. Remember your passwords. You have my device name, it's, you know, forever long. That's uh, one thing that was hard. You had to enter in that, that key down there. Uh, it's much longer than that, so you're not going to get anywhere with it. Uh, here you have the downloads thing, so that's a feature also on the desktop version. And looks like our add-ons page again. Anyhow, that's a quick look here at Firefox for Android. So far, it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm excited to use it, and I'll probably be checking it out for a couple days now. This is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com.